Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey everyone, today I'm going to explain to you how to RNG abuse trainer IDs and secret IDs in Pokemon Black and White 1 or Black and White 2. Um, if you just want a cool custom trainer ID, um, then skip the, this intro real quick. I'll put an annotation to the time link. Um, but if you are trying to make your trainer ID uh, make a specific Pokemon uh, frame shiny, then watch through this. Okay, so uh, the usefulness of the trainer IDs is you can either have a cool custom thing, like a cool custom ID, like my black version is 10101, and my name is binary, it's just a cool little thing, uh, or you can abuse the trainer ID to make specific uh, frames on specific seeds shiny every time you hit them. Uh, that is because shininess is, tried, is tied to your secret and trainer IDs. So in order to do that, you have to have calibrated your game already, uh, and you have to know what your like timer zero, your uh, V count, V frame, GX stat, uh, what what all that jazz is, and your MAC address, all that jazz. You need to know what all that stuff is, but you don't need to know your IDs. Um, so then you calibrate it, and you do a search for whatever kind of seed you want, right? So I'm going for a roaming Pokemon with Hidden Power Ice, okay? And I found a good seed, a good spread that I like. But you can do this for anything, like, it can be for wild Pokemon, stationary, gift, uh, the Larvesta egg, the hidden grottos, it could, be, it could work for anything. I'm just doing it for the roaming Pokemon. So when you find a seed you like, uh, copy seed to the clipboard, paste it in here, and do Gen 5 PRD, uh, PID RNG like normal. And then all you have to do is find a frame, any frame you want, uh, like any of these frames that show up, uh, find which one you want to make shiny. So I, in particular, want frame 791. Uh, which would give me a timid nature, I want it shiny. So just remember what frame that you want to keep shiny. Okay, so with all that out of the way, uh, we're going to go to 5th Gen Tools and TID SID Manipulation. Make sure to click, uh, to click your correct profile. And here's where things get a small bit complicated. Um, so there's a few ways to search for the ID you want. So you can either put in directly which ID and TID uh, SID you want, or you can put in the seed, which is what I'm doing. I'm pasting the seed, and I'm typing in what frame I wanted uh, for the Pokemon. Uh, the PID, if you checked that, it would just be uh, what this these letters are. It accomplishes the same exact thing as typing in the seed and then what frame. So you don't need to type PID. But you can also search for a specific TID and SID for the Pokemon that you wanted. Uh, that's a little hard to do. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing it. Uh, you'd have to search through literally like bunches of months by hand. So uh, bun months and years by hand. It, you can't do multiple uh, months and years at the same time in this. So it sucks. Okay. So you're going to ignore the middle box for now once you're done with the, the left box and go to the right box. So leave the min frame there at 28. Um... And the max frame set to around 40. You can do a little higher if you'd want, but uh, max frame is basically how many advances you're going to do. Okay, so uh, I'm going to click Find ID Seeds now, and you get a bunch of results really fast. So there's a few things to note. Um, one, you have to ignore the initial frame. This is wrong. Uh, you have to find your own initial frame, okay? So what I recommend is since the initial frame is going to be probably anywhere between 25 to 28 uh, in black and white 1, and it's probably going to be a little higher in black and white 2, I'd say probably around uh, 30 in black and white 2, you're going to want to find a frame that's above 30, uh, the first frame, not the initial frame here, right? So uh, I'm going to use this one, it's a frame of 36, um, and it has this ID and SID, uh, ignore the true, it has something to do with if your starter could be shiny or not, but I don't really... Uh, I'm not going to try and get the shiny with the frame that I'm hitting there. Uh, and then it has a nice low time with an easy button press. Um, so we're going to... The first thing we're going to do is we're going to just boot the game up without doing any advancements. All right, the way you do advancements is when Professor Juniper asks you if your name is correct, you hit no. We're not going to do that. We're just going to do this uh, date and time. 
and then we're not going to end up hitting this frame probably and that will be our initial whatever frame we land on whatever id we get is whatever fir initial frame is going to be uh it sounds a little confusing but it's not that hard so so go to the date and time my date and time is already correct it's 3 28 2011 go to my clock and change it to 24 seconds okay so once you have your uh seed and framed picked out you're going to want to uh, go change the date and time I believe my date's correct and my time is whoa, 12 sec or 12 minutes 24 seconds type your time in eon timer and start eon timer in your ds at the same time okay excellent so make sure to pay attention to your button presses i have to hold a when my game starts and you hold that until the game freak logo appears now, this first run is just to figure out what initial frame we tend to get. So we'll see in a second. So the way you advanced... Oh, yeah, so I'm holding my A button, and I'm going to hold that until the Game Freak logo uh, shows up, which is the little shooting star. And now we start the game, um, like normal. No C gear to even worry about. Okay, so I just hold B and mash A to get through a text. So this first run is just going to be us trying to figure out what um, what initial frame we land on. Because the one in a Pandora's box is not correct. So we're not going to do any advancements this time. So just go through like normal. How you would if you were starting a real game, and then... Make sure to hit yes if her, uh, if your name is correct. Even if you messed it up, just hit yes and go through. It doesn't matter. Um, hitting no will um, advance the ID frame by one. So, And that's how we're going to do our advancements. So this takes about two, two and a half minutes every single time. Um, if you're in black and white two, you're going to miss your timer zero a few times. It's going to suck. Um, yeah. Luckily, there's not too much uh, important stuff in Black and White 2, in my opinion. Uh, compared to Black and White 1, where Black and White 1 has a lot of, like, it has Thunderous, it has Tornadus, where you could get the... and you could turn him into the Therian form. Uh, Black and White 2 doesn't even have the Roamers. It has Latios and Latios, but you can't get Defog on them, so it's like, is it worth it? I don't know. Anyway... So, right here, we're going to be able to finally look at our start menu and our ID. And let's see what we got. Alright, so, you take the ID you have, and I'm going to type in 22698. That's the ID I got. I had 12 minutes. So put your hour that you were at, and put the 12, uh, the minutes you were at. Uh, and then put zero uh, seconds from 0 to 59, and put... Uh, min max frame from 10 to 40 and it finds seed hit so I'm not getting anything right so that means I probably missed my timer zero so I'm gonna type in the other timer zero I tend to get on this uh, game would you look at that I hit the wrong timer zero unfortunately so that happens so you just gotta redo it uh, I'm not aiming for this timer zero ever uh, it's pretty inconsistent whether I hit it or not, but I do hit it decently frequently, so. I'm just going to have to redo. Okay. So, if you hit the wrong timer zero, that sucks, but just go back and do it all over again. Um, I'm just going to show me booting the game. I'll skip the whole intro sequence just for you guys. It takes too long. So, but as you can see, everything in the wrong timer zero matched up, right? Uh, it was the correct time, the correct date, the, and the correct button press. So, now I'm going to pause, and I'll meet you guys after I have my ID. Okay. So, I hit my correct timer zero. I searched the seed, and I got this ID. I plugged it in here. I got the correct time, the correct button presses. And you ignore the initial frame once again, and you look at this frame. This frame is my starting frame. So now my starting frame is 28. 
So I have to do 36 minus 28, and that is the number of advances I have to do. So I'm going to go back to find ID seeds, just to double check, but I believe it's here. It's 36. Excellent. So my initial frame is actually 28, which is cool. So now that you know your actual initial frame, uh, whenever you hit the correct timer zero, you can actually start uh, RNG abusing your ID. So, I believe that's 8. 36 minus 28 is 8. Uh, I'm just going to double check. Yeah, it's 8. So i got to do 8 advances, which I will show you how to do now. Okay, so you got to go back to your date and time. Your date should be correct still, but you change your time back. Start Eon Timer and your DS clock at the same time. And now, we have free on timer to count us down. We start the game up as we did before. So we're going to do everything uh, the same as we did before. With one exception, which I will get to. So again, everything's the same as before. Oops. <laughs> Messed that up a little. Let's just mash through Juniper's garbage. I'm showing this this time uh, because it's important. boy. Type my name. So type the name out. And then when she asks if your name is correct, say no. So that's one advance. I have to do eight. That's two advance. That's three advancements. Four advancements. Five advancements. Six advancements. Seven advancements. Eight advancements. So I did the correct number of advancements. And I say yes this time. And then I just mash through the rest of her garbage. Telling me how Bianca and Sharon are in my best buds forever. And we gotta wait. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, TID, SID abuse is a bit tedious, but it's worth it, especially when you want a shiny uh, Tornado Sword Thunderous. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> With Hidden Power Ice. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I get the ID. And, again, another downside is if you just your timer zero fluctuates, uh, it sucks. I mean... It's, it's a long process because you have to wait for all the game dialogue and such. Okay. And here we go. Hopefully I hit the card timer zero. And there we go. So my ID is 15935. That's the one I was going for. The chance that you're getting a different ID, like, here, I'll type this out. So I'm gonna do the search one, five, nine, three, five. Right? Find seed hit. This is the <laughs> this is the only other seed you could get that on in this date, and it's wrong seconds and wrong button held. So there you go. Now you have the correct trainer ID. And if you want a shiny starter, just save in front of this box and watch my video on RNG abusing these starters.